Well, it's Monday morning and I'm on my computer. It's gonna be a computer day today. I've got to uh, do some research into the uh, muscle structure of the inside part of the uh, rear leg. It's, you, you got a lot of photographs, a lot of drawings of the outside part of the leg, but you can't find anything about really the structure of uh, the muscles and bone structure of the inside leg. And so that's what I'm looking for in photographs that I've got literally tons of on my computer. And uh, it's gonna take a while because I've got probably a thousand or more photographs of horses and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to find anything that would show me the inside of the uh, rear leg of the horse. So, that's what I'm doing today. Tomorrow I'll be on my sculpture. And uh, it's beautiful outside and uh, lots of sunshine. It's uh, 56 degrees, which is not really, really warm, but uh, it's perfect weather. All right, I'm back to uh, working on my sculpture here. Time to play with some clay. All right, I know the uh, view is not the best. You're not gonna be able to see a lot of what I'm doing because my hand will be in the way. But I'm trying to do the best I can to show you what I'm doing. The uh, only drawings, I could, only things I could find about the inside of the leg were drawings that I had, and you can see this one here. I think, yeah, you can. And uh, that's the only one I've got. And it shows the primary feature is the bone itself of the leg. And the muscles themselves are a bit thin on the inside, more muscular on the outside than on the inside. And so I've got to figure all that out. The drawings don't show it very well, but uh, anatomy drawings never do. So you just do the best you can with what you got. Well, you really have to be a contortionist sometimes to do your art. <laughs> This is where a painter has an advantage over a sculptor. A painter only has to paint one side. A sculptor has to paint both sides. Not paint both sides, sculpt both sides. It uh, do make it interesting. And I can't find my right tool. I don't know how well you can see this because I don't have my eyeball on the uh, screen of the uh, 
GoPro or GoPros. Um, but I'm getting it fleshed in now. And uh, it's starting to look more like the rear of a horse. Okay, this is the best view I can get. I just put the camera right here on the base of the uh, sculpture to show you what I'm doing. And uh, I know it's not the best view, but uh, it's as good as I'm going to get it, I think. I've got to get the legs done right on the inside before I can add the tail because it's going to be harder to do the inside of the leg once I put the tail on. I got my camera propped up <laughs> at this angle with the uh, hammer and a little clay in front of it. All right, that's going to be as far as I'm going to get today. I'm glad I got those legs almost complete. There'll be some detailing. Everything's going to have to be detailed, really, by before I take it to the foundry and get it cast. But uh, right now, everything is, I'm happy with how the legs turned out and uh, the inside of the legs turned out. And uh, I got to start the tail next, I think. So I can at least get that designed. Usually that's the last thing I do, but it's it's close to it. I got a, still a lot of work on the front of the horse. And uh, I banged up the horse's face uh, because I had the lights down real low and I was turning the clay and it hit the light. <laughs> so I gotta re redo that lip of that horse. But it it's turning out, I'm liking it. So I'll see you guys next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.